Got a new color. We've got a new color. Person, Ramla Bow. Get ready to run. We've got a new color. Heaven or hell. Duel. One. Let's rock. Got a new color. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another week of Boston Blue Beat. Um, uh, as as always, we would like to remind you first here at Boston Blue Beat, we are proud supporters of Black Lives Matter, um, and we do uh, highly recommend, uh, if you have time or means, uh, to donate to uh, the Bail Project in Louisville or the National Black Justice Coalition. Um, both of those charities are very important to us and uh, and we're, we're here to spread the message as best we can. Um, on to Guilty Gear though, this week I am joined on commentary by Deadword. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, my name's Deadword. I commentate Guilty Gear and Blazewood Cross Tag Battle. Uh, you may know me from other tournaments, but screw that, because we're at friggin' Boston Blue Beat. Yeah, tonight. we are. On Thursday. On a, a lovely Thursday, I'm excited here. This is the first time, Deadward, I've done commentary with you, and and I, it seems like we've run into each other at a couple different tournaments, but but uh, this will be this is a true the true joy of of net play bonding, even though non non rollback. Oh yes. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, let's get it going. Starting off first with Nova Nox and Usagi. All right, yeah, Venom versus Ramlethal. This is going to be a fun matchup. Um, Ram really likes to stay in the air, and Venom can't control the air with balls as much as he'd like to make you think he can. So I'd like to see how Yusagi plays the air in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of... Um, Venom's also got that really godlike 6P. I imagine that it would probably help stuff a lot of Ram's air approaches. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and looks like Nova's getting a bit of a knowledge check here. Yep. Those swords, you gotta kill them before they try and hit you. And this is the result of it. So much damage. Yep, yep. Yeah, gotta knock those out of the sky. Grim just dashing around, nice pokes out. And that was good by Nox. Beat one sword with a ball, dashed under the other one, but now stuck in the corner. May die here, spends the burst. Why not? Why not against Ram, you know? get like 15 yeah, bursts. Back. Yeah. Yeah, already halfway full after cashing out with such little life, but mm -hmm. it's go time now. Let's yep. see how Nova Nox is able to adapt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, commanding commanding first round there from uh from Usagi. Looks like they're kind of walking. Like we have a bit of a lag check here. Yeah. Seems like they might they might have some frames. I don't know where uh Usagi is based out of. I know Nova Nox is uh up in New England. There's a spike to 8F, they say. Goodness. A spicy meatball. It got up to 10. Okay. Alright, looks like we may have to run a connection test for this play these players. Alright. Or, uh... We'll see. Maybe, maybe this will stabilize. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see I it. feel like with this much... Oh no, looks like they're playing now. Yeah, I think they're gonna All run right. it. Well, timeout... Very much a factor in this round, so this damage that Usagi's about to get is going to be very important. Mm -hmm. A quick carry to the so corner. Now that I think about it, 
Ram can kill you in like 40 seconds. Yeah, Ram's, she's got, yeah, because if she can carry you to the corner and then and then just run the blender, like that's really all it takes, especially, and she's got all those uh, all those supers too to, to get the kill, especially at low levels like that. So basically just needs to confirm into, uh, into Beyblade in the corner. All right, Nova Nox with a bit of a meter advantage there is going to lose it from blocking, and Ooh, that's yeah. going to be the route. Going to take it to Dauro. So let's see how the how the connection fares up. I wonder. Yeah. I wonder how. Oh, well, they both slammed rematch. Was actually fixed. Okay. Yeah. They both slammed rematch, so they're they want to run it. Uh, Furok, I don't think we're gonna run a plus R bracket after. Thank you though. Nice. Trading projectiles there. That's a really important air throw, but no, doesn't get the knockdown. Ooh. Venom gets such great Oki Oki from that position. He's back now in mid-screen. Ooh, good burst. Very dangerous burst. If Nova was holding back there, that would have been an easy block. But that was not an easy block. Ram overhead. So fast. Gary Button. Patience. Just jabbing with far slash. I want to see how Nova spends this meter. He's got a full stick. Oh, and doesn't need any doesn't of Doesn't even need to. Just poking out with far slash. Yeah, I was like, all right, here comes the Dark Angel. Here comes like yeah. five stingers in a row. <laughs> Venom is such a happy character when he has meter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And especially if he's doing something like if he can hit you with like Dark Angel as Oki in mid screen, it's just guess what? There's all your meter. It's gone. Or your life. Looks like Nova's, Nova's getting pretty. Wow. Here. Yeah. In the in the blender for sure. Oh, but this is a very good corner position for Nova. Oof. Oh, and this <laughs> corners himself a little there. Yeah, air slash when when Ram's got sword. That slash sword is just so powerful as a as a neutral tool. Yeah, it looks like Nova thought that Usagi was gonna go for the throw off of the wire C, but Usagi just goes low instead. Simple mix up, only 25 meter, but it works out in the end. Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe trying to go for 2D there and got 5D instead? Yeah, a bit of a scramble situation. Yeah. Nice pressure though. Oh, yeah, Q5 being a little of a frame trap there on the jump. Uh uh uh, takes it all the way to the corner. Yeah, not a, not a, ooh, in that, you can't burst there. Yeah, Ram. Ram just holds 4P, auto blocks it. Painting the burst that doesn't exist, and yeah. Usagi gonna just in take case. It. Just in case. Sometimes you know it's those old reflexes. They kind of kick in. You're just like, this is the combo that I do, right? This is the one. Game sucks. <laughs> That's an incredible win quote. So the first game goes to Usagi, and up next, yeah, I think, is going to be uh, Yurok and Dokbok. To the big Dokbok. Potemkin versus Jacko in a in a matchup that has been run about four thousand times. If I had to, <laughs> if I had to guess, it's a, it's a very interesting matchup because both of these characters have very powerful win conditions. Well, so Jacko Jacko Wright wants to set up all the houses and like increase like you know like maximize like the profit from the renters market and Potemkin is out here to just like what get four pop busters like what would you say aside from land pop buster what what's what's Potemkin looking to do in this matchup I do like Doc Bok already throwing out the 5H. I mm -hmm. feel like trying to punish house set is really good, even mm -hmm. if you don't get a counter hit before it. Uh, activating danger. Oh my goodness! <laughs> of course, of course they both did. Incredible. Oh my oh, god. I'm, try I'm trying to analyze this matchup. We get danger time into both players mashing command, command grab, because this is guilty gear. Oh. That's Pot's win condition. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad they both, like, 
really the fact that they both went for it is the inspiring part, right? Again! Oh, yeah. oh my gosh! Alright, so looks like Doc's Fox uh, game plan here has just been to try and hit as many danger times as possible. Getting so much damage here. Okay. Well, now Firox got a chance. He doesn't set anything up, though. He kind of just waits. I don't know if you thought... Doc didn't have burst. Oh, and him out. punishes how set. That is something that I was not considering about the matchup, is how Jacko has certain how cancels into houses that become a lot more fraudulent when you can just slam her. Or just scoop her like that, too. Wow. And a quick game one to Doc Bok. Yeah, ma running the distance, making it happen. I mean, the danger times definitely assisted in the speed run there. You can't deny oh, yeah, the RNG no. fact. Absolutely not. I mean, so if you're a character with RNG and plus R, you crash the netcode, whereas in <laughs> you throw RNG apparently here in Exert, and it gives you back-to-back -back speedy rounds. Oh, it tries to flip the house. Interesting interaction there. Ooh, Jacko with meter, this is good. Yep, yeah. Just gonna get the plus frames. Do it again. Why not? It's a great super. Wow, runs back it, with the house. And it's really good because it stalls times for these houses to level up. Mm -hmm. The Dempkins forced to block, and now we got two level twos on deck. Third level two. And it's just gonna stall out again. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Dockbox I... swinging for the fences there. Why would you? I mean, felt like he had no way out. It was fair enough. All right, he goes in for the safe jump. Just out. Mash it out. He's stuck on slide head. The three H there. Oh, the other command Great grab. Great command grab set up. Got and again, these combos are so good for stalling out for these houses to level up. <laughs> yep. And this is it. This is the win condition. Activates, activates the homies. Doxon does a pretty good job of taking care of all of that, though. Yeah. Now we're gonna start seeing the level threes, though. Yep. All right, goons are in. Oh no! But can the goons? Doesn't matter how hell. <laughs> Just. Oh no, he drops the 6P. Doesn't matter how high your Ooh. house's level are if you get pot bustered. Wow, goes for Trishal, I think, expecting him to just run in there and. Ooh, Tech's out! Brock's gonna seal it. Nice with the little flare. <laughs> oh, well, hit him with the razzle dazzle, Furok, why don't you? Yeah, it was so important that Doc Bok never get hit while there were three houses out. And he had to like do stuff like spend burst to make all the homies despawn and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So you're really on the back foot in those situations. Yeah, and he's off screen. You can't really can't do anything major to punish it. He had that sick walk up pop buster, but is he gonna do it again? No. Ooh, gold burst. Who destroys the house and still gets the throw? <laughs> The tricky 100 meter overhead. I, I wonder if that was, he wanted to actually do that and YRC to put himself airborne. I know Furok has talked in the past, although I thought it was Calvados that Jacko, she can YRC, no, yeah, it is, because she can YRC burst super and keep the burst and just spend the 25 meter and it's basically just like a, like a free jump on wake up. Let's My goodness. Yeah. He's telling us those, those pat, that whole explanation, Doc Bog has just been absolutely oppressed, sitting on two level three houses right now. Yep. Three level three houses. Daco just a really oppressive character once she gets going. She's got the tools. Man. Alright, Doc Bog's gonna need a little bit more power, need a little more of that first, that first game. Maybe a danger time or two. <laughs> patience there. Nice Mega Fist to catch the jump. These houses are just getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. 
Nice spacing on the on the little on the flick on the homie. Oh, it's a great toss. Oh, and another gold burst for Furok. He's yeah. getting so much meter here. He's been doing an amazing job knowing when to burst in the string. Oh, and it's bomb time. This could do so much chip damage. Well, actually, yeah, he's got to FD it, <laughs> but it's gonna take a little bit of Doc Box meter. Gotta, he's gotta find a way out. All right, yep, has to burst. Has the meter though, 50 meter on deck. Oh, and the toss. Nice read. Grab on the jump. <gasps> And he, no, he's got it. Yeah. He's oh got my it. goodness, Doc Buck. Not taking it to game three. Round three. Game three. Game three. Round three. Their lives aren't a hundred percent on the line, but they might as well be. Nice slide head. That mega fist calling out the air dash. Ooh, scoops him out of house. This time gets Only that. Only one house on the field right now. That time he got the 6P. Yeah. Why not take care of the leveled up house? Great choice. And all Jacko needs here is a lot of time. And that's going to do some of it. Alright, first level 2 is on deck. Oh, slide head to try and punish the organ. Rosa. Great Hammerfall YRC. Wow, the low burst calling out the Oki, but Doc Bot gonna take it in the end with that jump H. Nice. Wow. What a set. <laughs> that was that was down to the wire. That was very exciting. <laughs> Goodness. Alright, so up next we're gonna have What a set, yeah. Yeah, the double danger to start things off. Absolutely true. So up next we're going to have <laughs> AB20 and uh, Sarge, or Undertow, I don't know which one he's entering at as in the moment. Hmm. Oh, he has to stop playing uh, Accent Core real quick so that he can come over here and play Exerd. I just saw it pop up in the corner of the screen. <laughs> ah, now he is, yes indeed. We've got a new cover. Uh, Undertow has arrived. Here we go. So this is gonna be Johnny versus Biken. Mm. This is. Oh no! Goes for sin. Goes for sin. All right. Okay. I'm. I'm getting. I got mixed. Okay. I haven't seen Undertow play sin before. I don't know if this is a. Recent choice. I mean, he's, he, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, already catching Johnny trying to jump out of the corner. Good burst, though. AB is going to keep uh, level 2 there. Oh, and this is big damage for Johnny. Yep, here he goes. One this with no risk gauge. He's going to have to be... Does only have the one coin left. But, but what a life lead. Yeah, he's so high up that it's. It... Oh. Ooh, nice. <laughs> what a call out with the low blitz there. Yeah. We saw Furok throwing it out last time as well. What a call. You gotta, you gotta check your opponent sometimes. If you, you know, if you, if you know that they might think a certain way, it's definitely worth throwing out a risky option like that once in a while. Oh, but it, it's so, so many of the good counter hit starters in this game are mids. It's a very scary call out. But AB feels like they just have the read. Right now, though, Undertow definitely showing. Yep, there's that, that Voltic Dane. Goes up great. and throws him from behind. Nice. <gasps> that was a great sequence. Gets under those wire C and 
tosses Johnny, but Eevees might have the hit they need. Level 3 pressure so scary. Blitzes him out of it. Held it, held it wow. just long enough, my goodness. He believed, he believed. Look at these two characters with huge normals just swinging on each other. Nice, Beef Driver. Sin really likes this corner positioning. What a Blitz War. <laughs> Fully charges it all the way. Little little Street Fighter V shimmy into a dash there, into a grab. Oh great, Y-hander knockdown there. Gonna keep. Oh, jeez. The confirms. The black beat confirms, but the confirms. My goodness, yeah. So AB was going straight there for the the instant overhead confirm with level three. And even though it was a black beat, the rest of the combo just works, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Was... Alright. Yeah, he's like he's like, okay. Enough fun time. Now here come the, the mains. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. Let's rock. Alright. I'd like to see how A B goes to mix up a zombie. We've seen that AB is very willing to make big reads. Yeah. Definitely not afraid to do what you might consider an unsafe option, but a huge reward. Whoa, and just held the Azami there. Gets that, gets that combo, takes him to the corner. AB not afraid. Undertow with a big life lead and stripping burst from AB now. Yeah, this is the this is oh, but AB turning it back around. Level three on deck. Undertow is without meter. This, yeah, being in the air Ooh, is so is. scary. Oh no, there it is. Burst as well. Ops did not cash for the unblockable. Has only level two, so wouldn't do a ton. And finishes it off with the treasure hunt. Big damage. Wow. You remembered not that having was those a, coins earlier. That was a massive Johnny round. Yeah. Oh, no, he turned it around really strongly. You know, that first at, at the start, it wasn't looking in his favor, but he kept his cool and. Paid off for sure. Absolutely. Another round on the board against Undertow. Mm -hmm. This this round kind of looking the same so far. Really strong start from from Undertow. Let's see if AB can make those same adjustments. Definitely trying AB to bait a burst there. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Took a very passive line after that launcher. Oh, and does it again. Backs up off of that air combo to make sure that the burst whiffs. AB, a very disciplined player, of course, knew that that round was going to be lost and just held on to the burst. Yep. You know, really patient, solid play. Well, these players are doing a really good job of picking and choosing their spots, it seems. I haven't seen AB enter myth stance for a while, but I think. Undertow might have stolen a level a little while ago. Nope, still has it. There it is. Even down dashes, goes for 5B. Coast to coast. Alright, players very even meter. Wow, and AB having the dead angle attack. Oh, he charges it all the way. It's scooped. Nice toss. AB very low on coins, only level 2 on deck. Big counter hit. No. Oh, burst comes back. Oh! And he, and he, and he, and like you said earlier, he did it again. He kind of like, he, he laid off right there, and that, that gave AB the chance he needed. There it is. And it works! Gets the burst and the coin. AB does not have a lot of options here. Oh, but YRC is back. Johnny can do a lot with this. Undertow just trying to Look patiently at, throw. There it is. Oh, there it is. 
When you watch a Johnny run, take a look at this man's bar. He builds meter so quickly, and Undertow with the bike and switch paying off big. Let's him at 1-1. One, one. Yeah, no, it worked out. I mean, that first round was looking close, though. Still, you know, like, it was still... It paid off. It wasn't easy. Navigating the neutral a bit. You have to start being a little bit more frugal with these coins. We've seen AB running out of them quite a lot, but this is big damage with coins. Yep. Whoa, whoa. You can carry them all the way. Yep. No coins on deck, but treasure hunt very available. Doesn't even need to spend the bar. So much damage coming from this character. Good snipe there. Counter hit dust coming out. Goes for the throw. I, I think AB's definitely beating the burst there. That's definitely... Went for the air grab reset one yeah, time. That's what it looked like to me. One of the throw is burst kind of... Say, look, you, you did this to me, I'm going to do this to you. You took my burst and all my coins. Nice air. Great AB air parry there, yeah. Countering that P-Finer. Really wants to level up this stance. Really pushing for it. <laughs> oh. The miss input there on the back is Sai. But Undertow just kind of stuck watching. Yeah, it, it was. That's the uh, that's the shock factor, though. What do I do here? Oh, gets tagged by the mat, too. Okay, both players with no meter. Last stand for Undertow here. Has to watch that instant overhead from Johnny. Gets the corner positioning. This is good for Undertow. <laughs> just, wow. Just, just held waiting. that parry oh. forever. Oh my gosh. Chip is a factor here. Maybe he might go for <gasps> it, but the counter hit does! No burst. He says, that's fine. That's fine. I'll go to game three. I'll go to game three. Making it work. Undertow fighting tooth and nail here. Both players with even bursts. Alright, roaming cancel available for both players. Whoa, and the air throw to catch the startup of Y-Hander. Really nice. Great awareness. <gasps> Alright. AB not able to spend the burst at all, and Undertow, with maybe a bit of an upset here, taking out AB. Wow. Yeah, Undertow running the rest of the game, switched to Biken, and that's all they needed. Yeah, Undertow, um... Undertow is a great player. Uh, used to live up here in Boston. Uh, moved down. Um, won our uh, last weekly, actually. So, or won, ran, won the last PC weekly. So he is he is here. Here and taking it taking it serious. All right, and we got Sora versus Aggro Craig. This is a, a pretty miserable matchup for Fa Faust. Doesn't have a lot of quick buttons to try and escape Milia pressure with. No. Already losing burst. So yeah, you wanna you wanna get her out, you know, as fast as possible, but she's just gonna she's gonna keep rushing. Man, has Acro Craig even gotten a hit yet? Here comes the super super. Secret Garden, got the, got popping off. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Thor feeling himself tonight, for sure. Alright, Aggro Craig's got to find something to take themselves back into this game, because, oh man, you're already in the corner against Milia again. It's a rough deal, yeah, and you got to figure out where you can mash. Or not even necessarily where you can mash, but where you can... Alright! Oh, but 
Milia almost stunned here. Pretty much, just needs one more. Yeah, Craig needs like a counter hit JH or something. Yeah, he's, he's got to try to you know, keeping Milia out is hard when she's got run speed that fast. Ooh. Yeah, that doesn't convert three. when you're comboing from the corner. Good counter hit. Okay. Black hole maybe not the optimal item, but the poison. Oop, meteors. Alright, gotta use this to start pressure, but Sora doesn't want it. Dead angles right out. Ooh. Oh, the swim not able to go under the uh, little disc there. It's a struggle. Or takes game one. Alright. Let's keep it coming. Aggro Craig fighting to establish some dominance last yep. game, but counter hit yeah, hammer doing, again. Yep, doing great stuff here with the with the long range pokes. Milia already stunned. And there we go, yeah. Aggro Craig knew that the hammer the hammer hit. What a with response! Yeah, goodness. Aggro Craig getting a perfect result, but great awareness from Aggro Craig knowing that the counter hit hammer really cranked that stun and just turning up the burners and going aggro with big moves like counter hit 6H. Mm -hmm. Now he's got a. Ooh. No pin for Sora though. It's true. If Aggro Craig can weather a few of these mix ups, it's very hard for her to get a knockdown. He's got to pick and choose. <laughs> Even without pin, Milia's corner pressure is so oppressive. Agar yeah. Craig eventually just folding. Yeah, she's the uh, one of the epitomes of you know, like block this. You know, like goes for five D again. So we're happy to just jump over it. <laughs> oh, roll getting slowed down by the oil there, and now Agar Craig with really good corner positioning. In his way. Ooh, nice! <laughs> Goes for 5D for the invincibility, but ends up just catching Sora standing around. Mm -hmm. Able to convert that into some damage, nice. Oh, misses the air grab after that tech out. Yep. Gets hit, uh, falling down with what looked like JS. And Sora, Sora misses the knockdown again. Oh! Whoa! Great recognition, here's the gold burst, secret garden. Every air dash and special move she does leaves hours behind, but... Went for the hair here. Yeah, Craig just going to a classic, classic Faust answer and finds it. Alright, well this is it. Both players with very dominant games so far. Yep. This is it. Only one of them can win here. Will we see a... Th nope. I was going to say, will we see a third perfect? The answer is still, I suppose, maybe. But not this game. Plenty of chances. We're doing a great job with these million cross-ups. Oh, what a blitz war there! How did that work? Sora was able to blitz attack the blitz attack. Oh, where? did he did he let go and do time because it didn't look like they clashed. No. Yeah. No, one thing if you think your opponent is gonna full charge blitz attack, mm -hmm. you can let your blitz attack rock a little early and Ooh. it'll counter hit their blitz attack because once he blitz attack you lose the blitz properties right right once the actual attack part of it starts because i know you can yeah. you can you could yeah that's i know you can counter hit out of uh that state it's like you can like you can like fake blitz attack and hit it before it goes i just had the thought of doing it with actual blitz wow just letting going my way rock there or with a lot of meter here. May see a winger, but goes for dead angle attack instead. <laughs> Another 6H overhead. What do you do? What do you do? It's huge. You can't block it. Just gotta watch the dome. Good bomb, bomb there. Yep. Sora's gotta run out of that. Ooh, throws out of 5D. 
Not quite fast enough to challenge double roll. Great conversion there by Aggro Craig. Nice. Ooh, Ooh the almost sneaky hit him, door! Almost hit him into the poison too. Uh, misses the unblockable, but Bomb's gonna keep the pressure going. Oh, these sneaky doors! Oh, wow! <laughs> Aggro Craig made it happen. No, we thought, you know, that first that first game, you know, looked so strongly in, in Sora's favor, and and Craig just like kind of like did the little like head crack, and like he was like, all right. <laughs> I know what I gotta do. Wow. That was... Yeah, Aggro Craig ran it. Like, that was very impressive. A lot of, um... A lot of kind of, like, Faust tricks that you don't see very often. Like, one thing I really liked is that once Milia was too high up that the camera couldn't see Faust anymore, Aggro Craig would just, like, throw out a door and see if he could catch Sora landing. Also, 6H is a very good button for Faust. It's a great button. Alright, going right into it. Wow, what a backdash on the flick, but Dokbok answering with a giant air throw. It's time to get tossed. Pick him up, pick him up. I like that, doesn't let Johnny get a level. Oh, and Darkfout was just blocking, but that super is so hard to punish. Just Mega Fist right over the low. Yeah, great call out there. Mega Fist does beat a lot of Johnny's favorite buttons, 2S, 2D. Not a bad option at all. It's gonna be some nice damage for Usagi. Oh, Ooh, but a big the drop. Knockdown. Yeah. That would have been level three. Has it now? Just in with hammerfall. Laser beam is ready to go. There it is. Oh, yeah. Doc Fox playing so patient, but eventually Usagi finds the hit. Oh wow, spends the burst. Yeah, very ambitious burst is gonna not pay off right away. <laughs> Bursting while you're that low is usually not advised, especially when your opponent has a meter advantage, but sometimes you just know you can win the round. Ooh. Spends quite a lot of coins and levels on that combo there and doesn't get any levels back in return. He's got the corner though, and he's got really strong pressure right now. Doc doesn't have any resources other than yeah. Potemkin Buster, which is the, <laughs> uh, the ultimate resource, isn't it? The only one that matters <laughs> is the run! Two? No, okay. I thought he might have been inspired by uh, Agro Craig's uh, 6H enthusiasm. He was like, I too can do five Pop Busters in a row. Oh, great Mega Fist there. Might have been going for a throw. Ooh, backdash is right over slide head. <gasps> oh, doesn't quite convert off of the JP, and now Yosagi's gonna take it. Oh, oh, also drops oh, the backdash. Oh, no, the slowdown. Yosagi oh, was able to identify that Potemkin was in backdash oh, and meaty the heck out of it. Oh, I think Doc expected the burst, so he just did the one JP instead of instead of just letting it rock. I think he backed off. Might have been smart. You really want to strip that burst from your opponent when you're going for the win there. Especially with Johnny with levels, you don't want them to reset back to mid-screen. Right. Yeah, Potemkin does not want to have to get back in ever, right? Yeah. Ooh! Oh. Knockbox going to miss the burst there. So quite a lot of damage for missing it as well. There's the instant overhead combo. Drops the extension, but is going to get the throw on Doc Bok instead. Mm. 
Alright. Oh. Fox got a pull. Oh man, and Doc Fox on their winner's life now. Mm. Alright. Doesn't have much more room to give, has to make it count. Alright, it's a good start. This is a good toss. Has the corner positioning against Johnny. You really want to stop Johnny from moving because that's how he gains all of his meter. Yeah, it's all that, all that dash momentum. Yep. Here's the. Oh, misses the drop. Doc Fox got to find a way out here at the corner. Great Mega Fist. Not able to get a knockdown though, and now Usagi's gonna pop back. I believe that was supposed to be treasure. Oh, there it is. Great bait there. And yeah, Usagi's gonna take it over Doc Bach, knocking them down to losers. But uh, that was a, a very entertaining match. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was nice seeing Doc Bach almost make the comeback with those myriad of pop busters. And man, that scramble situation near the end where the with the with the JP. And them just trying to get out of the corner. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Agro Craig and Undertow. So Undertow going back to the sin. Um these two have also played a ton. Uh back when uh Boston Blue Beat was an in-person uh weekly as opposed to an online uh uh weekly. They they you know they saw each other all the time. But again, I don't remember Undertow's sin back in the locals days. So so I don't know if, if Agro Craig has played Undertow Sin. Yeah, I'm surprised that Undertow is going back to the Sin after switching off of it after losing a bit. Well of course the pride comes before the fall. But nice stuff there. Beats out the invincible Faust 5D. For item toss there. Oh my goodness. Agro Craig could have died there. Oh! Oh, spins the. Yeah, because right there he would have for sure. Ooh, I like that. What? Great counter hit on the eat there. Undertow's got to get some calories soon. One thing to be aware of is in these situations, Sin is really going. F dead angle attack. Not going to do that here though. Doesn't eat! The Mad Lad. Oh, and just gets stuffed. Alright. Agro Craig. Showing why they're still in winners. That's yeah. 6H. Do it again, do it again. Oh, oh gives him with the 2D instead. Oh my goodness. This Oki is impeccable. What can you do? What can you do? For one one thing's for sure, you will not block this. Ooh. Oh, it went for the unblockable this time. I have seen Agro Craig. This is the the storied legend of Agro Craig in, in Blue Beat is that we have in fact seen him do. Oh no, he missed time oh, slipper. No. We have seen him do six H Y R C six H Y R C six H, and it hit. Um. Oh, his, his door <laughs> beats it. Oh my goodness. He's just like, I don't want to, I don't want to be near it. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> bow, bow to head out of this Voltic Dean setup. Oh, it's still Don't on, thanks. I apologize. It's still on, on Yusagi and, and Doc Bok, um on the stream. I'm fixing that right now. Oh, Meteors are out. Let's see how Agro Craig's going to run the offense here. And tripped in the corner there. Ooh, just out of range of 5D. Bates the door. Spends the YRC to keep the door safe. Might have been going for a, a more dangerous one like the air follow-up. Wow, ambitious fishing pole while Sin was in the air. Thought he might be landing into it, maybe? Trying Could to, be. yeah. He's trying to catch him out of the jump startup is what it looked like to me there. Yeah. yeah. I'll go. Ooh, nice throw. 
I definitely think setting up the door while people are in the air has been very interesting. Especially with how much it's been it's been succeeding. Yeah. Cause I mean Faust is still indicated as being down. You know, like Yeah. You don't really see him. He's and he's already like low to the ground as a hitbox character, so it's really a great, great mix of tool. Yeah, you you kinda kinda gotta hear him going in the door actually. <laughs> no visual indicator of any kind. But Undertow running the Running the comeback now. Yeah, now he's he's running his offense that he wanted to run last time. Wow, just great gets, six age. Just gets hit by it, just sitting, blocking low. Really good burst there by Undertow. Was gonna put Faust in the corner, and then realized Faust was like, oh, I want to tech and get out of the corner, and then just air throwing it. Nice PRC there from Agro Craig. Oh, goes for the run up, unblockable again. Gets tagged by Beak Driver. Yeah, but Undertow, Undertow having enough of Craig's uh, gimmicks and or game plan being like, all right, <laughs> enough of this. If you do 6H YRC again, I'm just going to jump out. Heaven or hell. All right, well, going into game three here, one of these players will continue in the winner's bracket. One of these players will not. Wow, the bomb bag saving Agro Craig's life there. Yeah. But high impact bull bash. He did get that. He did get the early burst, which is good. All right. Oh, gets the doesn't get a a pickup off of the homie. Undertow did eat twice in neutral, so they were at this very high calorie total. Allowed them to do quite a lot of specials in neutral, and still doesn't have to eat just yet. Is going to go for it now. There he goes. Yep. Pushes him with the low. Alright, I'd expect a dead angle attack soon. Oh, but the dive coming out again. Nice mix. You really did not need that candy bar landing on oh, Sin. Oh, no, no, no. Especially because of Sin, it gives him the food bar back. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't have to eat anymore. What an, what an, it's, it's one of those, you love Guilty Gear for stuff like that. Like, you know, those weird little, this, this is an interaction that exists with one character. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, it's gonna burst the dust follow up. Puts him right back in the corner. That was a great burst as well because it forces Aggro Craig to try and keep escaping the corner. I'm just gonna keep praising burst though because Aggro Craig also had an amazing burst. Bursted when Undertow had just the tiniest sliver of calories left. Yeah. Meaning Undertow had to fight neutral with no specials, but Undertow gonna just win. Just win, stay in winners. Throws it Let's out. Go, Undertow. He's like, no, he entered this tournament last minute. I was like, I was <laughs> like, so, like Undertow, if you don't enter, then you're gonna lose the role in the Discord. Somebody else will be the BBB champion. That is, oh, no. that is not exactly what I said to him to get him to enter. I just said, hey, why aren't you in bracket yet? And he was like, oh, that's my bad. All right, so let's see what we got. We have our winner's finals is set. That's going to be Usagi uh, and Undertow. Let's uh, let's run some some losers matches on stream. Uh, so all right, sounds good. Matches. On. So looks like Agro Craig and Furok is all ready to go. Yep. So Agro Craig and Furok. Um, I know AB twenty AB and uh, Sora are playing right now. Let's see what they're. Uh, Let's say, let's get the winner of uh, of AB and Sora. I get Doc and the we've got a new cover. Undertow going back to character select. Switching back to Sin just in case he wants to <laughs> see how it fares. Direct's on his that, way. Needs that good food. We've got a new cover. So Craig is here, so let's I mean if they want to run it. Yeah. 
Let's let's have them run it. Let's get a match on stream. I would love to have a match on stream. Sounds good. Let's make it. Let's make it happen. All right, Farrakh versus Agro Craig. The return of Agro Craig already back. Yeah, he left the lobby just so that he could he could take a take a take a quick refresh. I actually don't know what leaving and rejoining the lobby would accomplish. I can't. <laughs> I can't actually. Yeah. Other than I was like, get out of my lobby, and then I was like, okay. Heaven or hell. All right, well, here we go. Let's rock, rock. Two players looking for their <laughs> redemption in the losers bracket. We love the we love a round start. Five D from Faust. Really from anyone, but. <laughs> the envil on that always makes round start kind of a funny joy. Nice, Pogo. Over calls all the houses. Oh, in a very easy place for Agar Craig to destroy a ton of them. He's actually gonna burst for the opportunity. Worth it, I think, because he's gonna get he's gonna do tons of damn work on Oki too. Nice. Oh yeah. There. And look, all the houses, no more. That uh, that S house. Well, I guess he's he's still holding it, right? Oh yeah. Not active. But it's not leveling up as a result either. Yeah, it's stuck in the Jacko dimension. This is out, but puts Craig right back in that zone where most of fast normals will hit the houses, but also in that zone where it's time to run the blender. Oh yeah. And that angles out. Just says I don't want to do it. Oh, this is much better positioning. But oh no! Two S just blows up door. Yeah, Agar Craig just gets popped there. Yeah, we talked before about how Faust has very slow buttons, not a good character at gnashing out, mm. and especially against Jacko, that's a very bad thing to be. Yeah, he's got, and he's especially. I mean, he's got a lot of. Wow, the edge of Aegis clipped the uh, clipped the bomb bag and it blew Faust up instead. I mean, it's one of those situations where Faust just doesn't have a lot of strong reversals either, so being forced to just deal with endless Jacko Oki, stuff like that angle becomes extremely useful. We'll see how Agro Craig use, chooses to spend this meter. Nice little combo for uh, getting the time for those houses to level. Oh boy. It's a lot of damage. Oh, and baits that that dead angle. So it's so hard for Faust to escape those situations and when the Jacko is on point with baiting the one defensive option that yeah. Echo Craig has that's actually good, man. That's a struggle. Yeah, it's a it's a rough. This is also, and you know, again, like migrating from a local to an online bracket. There's 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 player knowledge in place here between these two. Oh yeah. Oh. Well. Agro Craig taken to the sky. Rock a little less likely to fall for the the six H offense, maybe. Ooh, scoops oh, great in there. reset there. This is looking like a Jacko round. Ooh, but they all disappear just in time. Craig's like, I'm not Burst done yet. Burst the explosion away. That, and that homie's gonna do work on the houses. Even off screen, you can see it's ticking down. Oh my goodness. Yep, he got three hits off screen with that homie there. Mini Faust has a vengeance, but... Oh, aggro but, Craig living with just a sliver. I was gonna say, Major Faust. Oh! Oh, I like that. Hey. Jacko's invulnerable to the bomb while in Aegis. Also able to protect her house as well inside of it. Yeah, locking down all that long range projectile stuff really, really hurts fast chances with, you know, items at full screen against Jacko. Big command grab there. It's such a bad Ooh. position for Faust. And the reset again! Farrakh is really just racing here. What? Oh, the double DP. And the command throw to seal the deal. 
What a sequence. Aggro Craig finally gets out with Blitz. Only to clash with DP and the <laughs> Barak doing the second DP. Man. Craig dropping the good and nice <laughs> on his way out. <laughs> the good luck from Farak. And it looks like we're going to have uh, Doc Bok versus Sora now. Oh boy. Ooh, we'll join this Kira. Is a, this is a challenging, uh, challenging matchup for Pot. Yeah, all those Great fast buttons. Bursts away from the pin. Positional advantage. Soret has not picked the pin up yet. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's actually, yeah, once the screen space. But I bet Doc Fox glad to just get the meter from walking forward there. Yeah. That's going to give him access to all the, the reversal tools that he, you know, he wants and allow him to really get something started. Only one frame to pick the pin up, though. Oh great, oh just does the 6k again. Doc Bok not ready for the second time. High impact flick there, pin is stranded. Bro gonna give that first round to Sora. Yeah, very, very high tense situation. I'm sure Doc Bok was very stressed out there. Not able to recognize the, um, not able to recognize the double roll just gets thrown for it. Yeah. And Sora able to establish a very dominant corner positioning here. Yeah, he's, Man, even Pot is bleeding. He's, he's running, he is running the... running that Oki in a way that is just absolutely oppressive. Knocks him down onto the pin. Oh wow, and JP such a good button able to stuff Doc Box jump in there. Doc's been Doc's trying to you know make the hits that he gets count, but Sora has been amazing about you know converting any sort of stray JP anything else into into some form of major damage or advantageous position. Um, he's not letting those stray hits go to waste. For sure, and so good at establishing that milia pressure. Those corner situations are so oppressive. Nice 6H there from Doc Bok. No, it says no. <laughs> that takes too long. Stop that. Secret Garden is one of the better projectiles in this matchup, but man, if Pot lets you channel it off, yeah. Pot deserves all the pain they're about to experience. Yeah. Especially when you've got something, you know, like, you know, exactly like what Doc did. He's got slide head, you've got a way to just say you're taking forever from full screen. Cut that out. Seems like Potemkin has to make so many reads in this matchup. You could see Doc trying to, just trying to be like, okay, I think he's going to go in the air this time. And, and Sora, you know, stay on the ground or something like that. And then you have to deal with, with Pete Knuckle and... Man, Sora bursts with a very big life deficit and gets punished for it. Dockbok with very good positioning here for this game. Here comes the disc. Burst coming back for Dockbok. And it's this is so hard to block against. Yeah. Big perfect there for Sora. Yeah, needed that. Needed that after really wants to kind of stop this from going to you know another another game where Potemkin can can get his own thing started. Definitely not what Milia wants, but Dockbok fighting on their tournament life here. Has to make this work. Gonna have 50 soon. Then first. Is he 
big damage. Full meter for Sora, oh, yeah, gonna spend yep. that secret garden. Yep. That was what I was thinking he was gonna do with the 50. I was like, if you jump, he'll try and grab you, but Sora plays it patient and closes it out clean. Bad Moon with so many hits, able to crush the guts of even Potemkin. And Doc Bok, I'm sorry, but you have been voted off. Have a good night. Can't wait to see pop up in the bottom corner Doc Bok now playing Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus R. <laughs> Finally, I get the vacuum back. All right, so actually, um, Frock has already hopped on, but we're going to run our, our winner's finals next. Um, so we're going to have Usagi and Undertow in winner's oh finals. Boy. Usagi has got to walk themselves out of the corner now. <laughs> has just been staring at the wall for the past few minutes. He's back on biking. Alright, yeah, doesn't want to play Sin into Johnny again. <laughs> it's a like hard pass, hard pass. Yeah. All right, so undertow. Okay, Usagi. This is gonna be winner's finals, two out of three. Uh, three out of five, rather. All right. Long games now. Yeah, now no, only. Well, it's not true. Loser semis is is still two out of three, but. Ah. I like to. I feel like you know if you if you're playing in a in bracket you know if you if you're on winner's side you should still have that you get that like little break before your lo your losers final match. That's true. Sounds good. Which of these players is gonna be sent to losers? Let's see how it goes. Really careful right now. Big plus frames from that IADGH. And 6k is throw invincible. And oh my goodness, Undertow got a lot of damage. Undertow's that. in that bike and damage. The full, yeah, got that loop. Got that, that, that rep really low, too, that second rep. And I really like the mind games that are going to start here. Undertow has already shown that they're able to beat. I mean, they're getting cooked right here, but able to beat this wire C using Blitz. <laughs> Just goes so that's low. That's not an option. Man, I'm, just, I'm trying to, to outline a good decision that Undertow made, and my man's is just getting obliterated in the background. That's how fast, you know, like a game like this can change, though, right? You know, like, especially with these characters, you know, like Johnny Biken are both just so explosive. You know, you were making your point, and Undertow got touched once, and Johnny, off of a level 3 Mistfinder, just like that, is going to take him almost below 50%. Man, yeah, same situation with level 3, and here's the unblockable! Oh, but he doesn't get a, a major conversion off of it. Undertow's still alive here. Oh, but Yosagi's really baiting the burst here. Yeah, he wants it real bad. Y yeah! <laughs> This is just, this, this is a bit too much, Usagi. Chill out. <laughs> you don't gotta be mean to people. But he wants, he wants, he wants, he wants to, he wants to believe. He wants to... But I mean, and this is the kicker, right? Is that if you, if you try to stay, if you try to style too much, you run the risk of getting yourself blown up. Oh my goodness. Usagi, not like this. Still a ton of meter advantage for Usagi, and yeah, just gonna cash out. Chips out Suzeron. Usagi takes that first game. Usagi almost flew too close to the sun on that one. Six P throws him in the corner. And oh, this big damage misses the burst, but Usagi not able to punish it. He was so focused on that existing combo. Tex out. All right, let's see what Undertow can do this time. Face of backdash goes for it again, but gets caught by the chain. Catches him on that second loop, drops, but but picks it up on the ground. 
makes it work. Cute little drop reset. Happy little reset. So far this round looking pretty good. Strong start from Undertow. We've seen how fast fortunes can change like this. Commentator's Curse. Here it is. Corner position, level 3. And this throw combo is very cool, but also does a ton of damage. Which is also cool if you're the Johnny player. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So why is he set up? Fates the burst again. Guys, he wants it. He wants it. Undertow's just going to refuse to burst. He's like, I <laughs> would rather lose than fall for such obvious bait. <laughs> I will take this burst to the grave. Viking is also a samurai. Would like to would like to die with honor. Why is he... No, 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 no. You're winner's finals, buddy. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> no. It's three out of five. Undertow is three out of five. And we're about to see Undertow has opened up accent. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. I'm like literally just like, <laughs> I'm literally staring in the bottom. He's still playing. Alright. Has to re-enter the room code. I'm gonna send him, I'm gonna slap him with that invite to lobby. <laughs> Yusagi's line is just depression when he gets on the... <laughs> And now we wait. Oh. Undertow looks like he had a... <laughs> oh boy. Alright, yeah, he actually actually had something come up in the middle of that set. So, it oh, is... No. Yeah, so it is, unfortunately, does have to be taken out of bracket. Um, So, we're gonna... So... Which kind of unofficially, uh, I guess we're gonna run uh, Furok versus Sora, and uh, I guess um, this is now losers finals. <laughs> All right, <laughs> look, I'm down for running this as three out yeah, of five. Yeah, so we'll, as we'll, well run it as a three out of five. We're gonna do a little improv. All right. Yeah, Undertow has in Here fact we go. has in fact vanished <laughs> when the world needed him most. So we're gonna have yeah. So let me update this real quick. So what do we got? We got Sora and Furok. This will be uh Looks this will good. this will be three out of five. Making it happen. Ooh, Million getting burst in the corner right away. Yeah, break those houses. <laughs> Lush Shaker moves Milia's hitbox way forward. So Furok able to DP that. Oh, I don't know what these guys picked, but they're getting... The stream is getting a sick version of the FF6 battle theme right now. It's not over yet. Oh, that's gonna grab him. <laughs> Big toss, Hellfire damage. Level 3 house on deck. Ducks! Oh my goodness. Overhead ball. It's spooky season. It's spooky season. Yeah, I guess Milia's dead angle attack is just trash. Jacko's 2k able to go under it. Yeah, I think, I, I don't know uh, which animation it uses. It's definitely the case that, you know, a lot of characters, their dead angle isn't necessarily, you know, the move that you would you would hope it would be. Well, Blitz War Milia's right there. Is the, hers is her 6p. So I feel like that should hit the ground pretty well, but I guess it just doesn't. Whoa. Crumple Blitz attack here, but too close to the wall is going to get a wall splat instead. All the houses, no, no, no setup right now for Jacko. So, but Furok says that doesn't matter. Yeah, Furok catch, taking it with the honest hands. footsies, honest footsies, Jacko. Honest footsies. <laughs> yeah, it's just buttons. <laughs> That's all she's got. Heaven or hell, duel. 
Alright, let's see if Sora is able to make the adaptation. It does have two extra games to play with here. Houses on deck. Milia is one of the characters I feel like they can just ignore them. Mm -hmm. Since it's so easy for her to make Jacko get hit and then all the creeps just die. Yeah, everything just despawns immediately. Oh, but stuck here, yep, spend that dead angle. Ooh, catches <laughs> with the catches with 5D, just like watch your toes. Yeah, like anti-air dust there. <laughs> and gets to and gets to blow up that house too in the corner. Oh, no. misses the pin, Brock's out, but the just block is going to take it with the throw. Nice throw, yeah. Oh, great anti -air. this is so much damage, steal Sora so much of it! Sora getting that burst grabbed. Not the worst character to have your burst stolen against. Jacko hits quite a lot, so you get it back really quickly. Oh yeah, she's got those big 20 damage combos. Even how many times, especially once you've got a K house up to level 3 and you've got the, the multi-jab low guys. Yeah, and it's just going to jump in on the hair car, cash out and take it. Great stuff there from Sora, they're, they're doing a good job of managing these houses too. Make those toes. Making it work. That was smart. Haircar is very good against all of the multi-hits that Jacko likes to have. It's hitbox, or hurtbox is just so, or no hitbox. Hitbox is very extended. <laughs> Goes out very far, hits Jacko's hurt box, which is the box on the character Jacko that makes it so if something touches it, you get hit. But now both characters are setting back to neutral. Aegis is set up for Jacko, which means that Milia cannot jump in with Pin anymore. Alright. Druck starting that, that Jacko offense. Great gold, gold burst. burst here. Yeah, he's gonna go into that install. <laughs> wow! DP's out of it. Tag the toesies, double roll into throw. Oh, but Farak wants this one. Oh, and Sora's gonna tie up the game count 1 1. <sighs> Going right back into it. They're just, they're just slamming that rematch button. They're like, yes! We're excited to play more Guilty Gear. Everyone's excited to play Guilty Gear today, you know? It's rad. <laughs> Whoa! Sick that clash... That clash leaves Milia airborne, allowing her to go for the JP. brooks has got two houses down. Ooh, but that little, that little minion. Doing the work. <gasps> it's gonna make it happen. Whiffed DP. This is good stuff for Milia misses the disc. Are and off. now, yeah, if Jacko's just allowed to block here or make some space, these houses are pretty big level now. Up to level two. Sora's not going to spend any time. Ooh, actually, looks like maybe limping it around to try to get some pressure Great in there. Great air throw there. Gotta be careful in the skies now, because the uh, the S house is level 3, and that will... They'll go as soon as you jump, you like that. Oh, yep. They're on deck. Bam! Shoot him! Or I was like, no, I've changed my mind. I would like them all gone, please. <laughs> Alright, level 3 P house. Shooting out the sword, boys. Yep. And then locked down. He just wants to get that. Yep. Man, the, the level 3 S house trapped in Furok's inventory, but still manages to find the hit. You know, we've come a long way from from these these really quick 
lightning fast opening rounds to, you know, 13 seconds left on the timer. These two characters just, you know, constantly playing keep away, trying to get that one perfect hit. Yeah. And Jacko, again, a character who really enjoys just having time, mm -hmm. wants to let those houses level up, doesn't mi and doesn't mind that she has to do low damage combos to do it. Great, great, just kind of runs up and uses the momentum from the dash into the command grab to gab to to, to blitz. Not, not bait, but punish rather. So hard to escape there. Milia still with a ton of risk, but gets the hit. Yep, that's exactly what she needed. Uh... Oh, but what an air throw! And this is this looks like Chet make checkmate. Even without the reset situation. <laughs> Great stuff from Firak. Uh, sort of looked like they, they had it going into that corner and... Got turned around. Yeah, Firak up. 2-1 now. Sora's so gotta bring back some of the stuff from that game too. Uh, Opened up with the disc. Yep, gets the pin that time. Knockdown. Wow, Frock just immediately dialing low blitz there. I think he was. I think he was trying to read the the uh, hair car from earlier. Yeah, or like a meaty 2s. Made the wrong choice though. Not a lot of life left to give. You know, right as I said, oh, those those you know those rounds from earlier were taking so long and looked like, you know, until a second ago. Sora was working on a perfect, but it might as well have been. Yeah, Sora's really allowed to play their game now, which is really not what Frock wants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they've got all their resources. You know, they've, they've got Burst Full. Uh, Frock's gonna have to get theirs back. But Sora can do whatever they want right now. Man! Rock feeling comfortable to just mash against Estes. Big counter hit combo. Let's see how much Sora can optimize this. Cashes out. Another gold burst for Furok. Wow, the TP on the hair car. And he's gonna, yeah, cause, oh, but no, that scales so hard. Oh yeah, even with the Hellfire damage. Or really in the driver's seat there, great air-to-air -air with the JP. Yeah, what a response. They adjusted so strongly after that last round. Man, they've just been trading. Each of them has been reacting to what happened in the last game, and it's been... So going go. off of that, Brock really has to start slowing these games down. Mm -hmm. Sora, those past two games, Sora just was able to steal the momentum and just run it. Yeah. Like, no just, knockdown. That's exact, and you know, and that's how it starts. Let's get a this is really good for Sora if he can stop Jacko from placing those houses down again. Yeah, it was a big gamble uh, for Furok there. Um, trying to take control of neutral with the explosions, but at the expense of If that didn't work, now here you go. Yeah, finally has to spend 50 meter and a ton of tension pulls in order to get these houses back out. But oh my goodness, this is such a good situation but for there Farrakh. it goes. And Aegis just shuts down Pin. <laughs> and the little homie comes in for the assist. Yeah, Fura clapping back immediately. Whoop whoop whoop. This could be the setup for a Jacko round. Gets a little bit too close to Milia though and gets thrown on frame zero. Big DP there, pins on the floor. Ooh. Counter hit Digitalis is gonna make Frog burst a little bit too fast. Now Sora definitely in the driver's seat, has all the tools. Wing up. Winger and then OTG not quite. Oh, never mind. Wow, but the 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 second OTG, I guess. Yeah. 
the rare double OTG. What is it? There's no way what was at the the, the winger combo. Oh my! God. I'm yeah. gonna have to rewatch that one. Yeah. Re regardless, <laughs> Sora really milking that for all the damage that it's worth and able to get the kill because of it. Just believe you. I mean, believe you gotta believe. Oh yeah. Ooh, big counter hit. Digitalis gets the burst Ooh. off of it again. Clean bait there. That was uh, and takes it. And, and both rounds, Sora just getting so much mileage because Brock saw the counter hit Digitalis and just bam, dialed burst. Yeah. Get me out of here. Yeah, don't want it. Don't like it. So that's going to bring us to Grand Finals, which is going to be Usagi versus Sora. Oh boy, oh, I don't, Milia doesn't like this matchup from what I remember, but actually Johnny hates this matchup. This is actually one of Johnny's worst matchups. So nobody will be happy <laughs> today. Yes. Everyone will be mad. They'll be pushing their angriest buttons. Soggy doing a little amble to get all the way to the cab. <laughs> so neutral? No, no neutral in this video game. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> It's just pain. Every matchup is in this game is awful. What no, do you mean? It's, it's, if I don't have a YRC button that I can use to, to skip past neutral, I don't I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Every character in this game kind of forces you to address your game or change your game plan in some way. And I don't want I don't play this game to change my game plan. I just want to do the fun stuff that yeah, my yeah, character yeah. does. I just want to. So switch. every. <laughs> That's why every matchup in Guilty Gear is my least favorite matchup. <laughs> if my opponent is playing, it's a bad <laughs> matchup. If they let me wild out, it rules. I, I'm, I'm sorry. If you haven't, if you can't tell already, I'm definitely a Venom player. Regardless, nice counter hit JH there by Kosagi. But there we go. There's the counter hit Digitalis. Very nice. That's the K. Pick that pin up. Dials in the garden. Very impressive, Oki. All right, let's see if, if we can identify what happens here. All right, so that is not OTG. That's just a combo, and then that's the OTG. All right, okay. I got it now. I've, I now understand Milia a little bit better. Oh, no. OTGs, that's a very good combo for Johnny to get. But Isaki, kind of first person of the night to be like, Double roll, really? I'm not afraid of double roll. I've seen more than a couple double rolls in my time. With this much risk, Millie is gonna pop. Yeah. But a little drop there. It's out, but Thor's got a lot of work to do. <laughs> it is not gonna get a chance to really get it started. Yeah, so we're not able to burst that round. Yosagi respecting the plus frames on S disc. Waits to burst until you know, that first set when he knows that Thor's gonna be going into another button, so it's gonna work. It's low. Level three on deck. At this point Thor just doesn't even want to give him a chance to let him use it. Or uh, yeah. let Yosagi use it. Oh no! Might as well. Disc is, yeah, disc goes away with Milia blocks, so it doesn't punish there. So much red life here. Milia is made of paper. Instant overhead, but misses the stand stash canceled treasure hunt. Well, these characters got plenty of meter. Almost a full stick of no, but gets tagged. <laughs> Can't do that. Not while Johnny has level. We're out of the year. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. All right. Plenty of games to adapt here for Sora. Well, no, Sora's uh, Sora's got yeah, Sora's got two more games, you know, to kind of 
try and run this back. Definitely wants to take this one. Don't want to be down 2-0. Absolutely not. Whoa! Using the 6P to duck the Mist Finer. Good knowledge of uh, her box is there to pull that one off. Very nice. Gets a sweep. Sora's going now. Going Secret Garden Oki. Yep, gets him Caught the head! Just, just do it again. <laughs> that moon, it's bad. You can't block can't block 6k, can't block bad moon. You got it. What is it? It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, you search the frame data for Milia Unreactable and it gives you a <laughs> uh, bad moon or something? On the, fr is, on the frame yeah. data bot? Yeah. <laughs> Good, just guess. <laughs> <laughs> just guess. Guilty Gear is really easy. All you have to do is guess right every single time. It's like poker. <laughs> just know what's in their hand. Strong stuff Here comes from Sora, to this. though. Yep, knowing exactly what he was trying to pull after last time. Getting a lot of mileage out of that 6k in particular. But 6h seals the deal. Yeah, so active, just completely stuffs um, that backdash that Usagi was going for. Oh, bad burst there. Miss Finer doesn't have a hurt box, so it's impossible to burst. Oh, and this is a Johnny round. Yeah. Taking him straight to the corner, start to finish. No drops here. Oh, nice break. But Yusagi securing the perfect. And right after Sora got their first game. Just establishing dominance. You gotta let him know, you're not afraid. You're like, I'm sorry, I played Johnny? I don't know <laughs> the meaning of fear. Time to go in. Immediate a double. <laughs> Do it again. Oh. <laughs> goes for digitalis. It goes for a low that time. That was actually keeping Usagi on their toes. Oh, cute little blitz war. We're we gonna have another perfect Sora. and then a perfect back. See, and this this is why it's a bad matchup for characters. Both of them can just, once they get their game, it's really, yeah. Whoever starts their game first. It's, yeah, it's, it's so hard to reestablish dominance in this matchup. You're just trapped. Ooh, gold burst, though. Bigs wire C, ooh, but a good burst there from Sora. Denies the level and makes him spend a coin. But now that Sora doesn't have yeah. burst, Sora is, uh... In a, a, in, a, pain right in a pickle, shall we say. Level 2 spent. Level state. Goes two. for the unblockable. Sora has a lot of meter here, a lot of ways to escape it, but no. Can't do any of them. Yeah. All, all the choices in the world, and, and you're stuck. Just kind of staggered. Here we are. Going back into it. Game four, this is a tournament game for, for Usagi. Wants to take the whole thing. Good frame trap there. Sora ran up, made Usagi think they were going for a throw. Hit him with the counter hit 5H. Took his burst and everything. Great, great opening round. Working on a perfect, just spamming this uh, S disc in pressure. Soggy very willing to respect it, and there's the perfect. Have we seen more perfects or more danger times? <laughs> I want to say more perfects. We get the counts. Another and gold another burst. Carries him. A lot of meter here to escape, but just gets hit. Well, Usagi definitely would have wants to kill Sora. Oh, yeah. Well, they have a full, full bar of meter. 100%. Yeah, and doesn't and doesn't want this to go. 
says I. Oh, no, I... the super. Super doesn't confirm there, but Sora's in now. Still, lots of meter to give on Sora's side. Yep. He's gonna. Yep. How's YRC now? Yeah, can't blitz while you're at meter disadvantage like that. I was gonna say the question is, you know, is when is Usagi gonna spend that that burst? All right. Well, Sora at a bit of a burst advantage here, but this is anyone's game right now. Big first hit going to Sora. This is gonna take Usagi to the corner. Yep. This is what this is what Sora needs. High impact. This is the Oki that you want. That hasn't picked up the pin yet is gonna get it here. I think Johnny will get burst. Usagi will get burst back. Uh, before the end of the round. Oh my right goodness, there. this is such a hard fight. I feel like Yusagi really wants to find the gold burst here. Really wants Peter. Kind of. Ooh, nice. Kind of just casual dash. There it is. <gasps> Immediately. Oh, just burst. spends it right yeah. away. Says no. Not even gonna. Not even gonna try to play around. And it's gonna cost him. Yeah, well, definitely as you get towards the end of your life total, uh, burst just becomes much easier to bait. Alright, and this is it, game five. Sora gunning for this reset. First touch. And all the difference. Spends that burst. Whoa! What a mash there! Yoki here. Oh, doesn't punish the secret garden. I don't think I don't think he he I don't think he has a or I don't think uh, Yusagi had uh, had a charge to, to punish from that range. There's and there was it was again the blitz attack battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you like you said earlier, letting it rock a little early just to. Goodness, and Yusagi dying with level three. Sora is on top of this game right now. Oh, Isagi has to get to the floor. Oh my goodness. Finally gets it, but through the form of an air grab. Now, oh! Big oh. Again, never would have burst Mist Fighter. Great patience and air stalling there from Sora, though, just to kind of let that whole that whole thing rock. Yeah, and Yusagi's already shown that they're a player who's willing to full charge burst or mm. blitz. This is a very tough, yeah, instant overhead coming out. Very easy way for Johnny to secure rounds. It does a ton of damage. Level two on deck. Oh. So he's ready to go. Johnny just out here melting life bars. Ooh, but doesn't get this Y. <gasps> but does there. And Sora lost the pin off that one. Not going to get burst back. Oh. <laughs> and Isagi with just one more perfect of the tournament. Just just one to, to seal. Close out the night. <laughs> for the road. One for the road. So GG's to Usagi, uh, Sora, everybody who entered tonight. Um, congratulations. Um, it was a great little bracket, Deadward. Thank you for commenting with me. Oh, it was a pleasure. Um, uh, Usagi, uh, I will hit you up again on Discord um, to give you the role. And also, uh, if you would like to mod a song into the game, please let me know what song you want and what you want it to replace. And that will take the place on the stream setup. Um, but until then, folks, uh, we're going to sign off for the evening. Um, Sounds good. Have uh, a good night, guys. Everyone take care. Deadward, thank you for commentating. Uh, where can people find you? Oh, you can find me at DeadwardFGC at Twitter.com. Okay. And that's about it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. That is, that is the website, as they, as they say. It all happens on Twitter.com. 
Oh, for sure. You can find us uh, at Boston Blue Beat. Uh, you can find me at Just Mash Dust. Um, and we would uh, like to close off uh, reminding you that we are here, proud supporters of Black Lives Matter. Um, it's a cause that matters very much to all of us uh, in the Boston FGC and hopefully worldwide. Um, if you have the money to donate, that would be rad. Uh, we would we would truly appreciate it. Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, everybody, uh, don't be free. Uh, be good to each other. Uh, stay spicy. And have a good night. Sounds good. <laughs>